so I guess I'm gonna film this unboxing. A little bit of backup. In 1983, I was 10 years old. There were video games everywhere. I, I talk to my wife about this all the time. There video games were everywhere, the mall, the grocery stores, the convenience stores. Like, as a little kid, we played these things everywhere. And we went broke. I mean, mm -hmm. seriously, went broke. The very first video game to ever take more than a quarter came out in 1983, and it was called Dragon's Lair. It was. It looked like a cartoon. It was animated by Don Bluth, uh, the same animator who did All Dogs Go to Heaven, Secret of Nim, Titan AE. Uh, been following this guy's career forever. Anyway, Dragon's Lair was the first game. It cost 50 cents. It ran off of a laser disc player. It was full motion video. It was like it was like the grandfather of modern video games. It, the whole game is nothing but quick time events. And they've had it on just about every home system since I was a kid. And with the exception of the newer like CD systems, I, I guess starting with like the Sega CD and the Panasonic 3DO back in the mid 90s, no one ever got it right because you couldn't. The technology just wasn't there for you to get it right. So I have I have this game on my phone. I have it on my computer. I've had it on all my uh, latest Nintendo systems, PlayStation, everything. And now they have this. It is and for real, you guys, we signed up for the wait list for this thing. And as soon as the email came that said, this is available at this time on this day, you bet your ass, at that time on that day, I was clicking refresh on that page. I managed to snag one, and within five minutes, literally five minutes, they were sold out again. So, yeah, uh, this, this is such a collector's item that I almost don't want to open it and play with it, but you know I'm gonna. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh -huh. Flip it on its side. Tearing it up. <laughs> Okay, flip it on its side one more time. Okay, there. There we go. Okay. So. And then there should be a way to, here, honey, you hold this. I will hold this. Okay. There is this here. Oh, that, uh, oh, yeah, you open it from that side. Oh, look at that, honey. Isn't that fascinating? The box opens up from that direction. There we go. Okay. All right, so we're going to go back through this. Okay. Okay. Holy crap. It just keeps getting better every single time I see it. <laughs> uh, so more box. That's it is it. a miniature Dragon's Lair arcade game. To scale with all the details of the original. Yes, it is. An, I mean, it the entire game from beginning to end. It uh, also, if you don't like playing it on the little arcade, you can also hook it up to your TV through, uh, I guess, uh, HDMI. And plug a controller into it and play it that way. How many boxes are in the box? I don't know, but this is insane. Okay, so it opens up here? Yes. I think this pulls out and then it opens right here. Hang on, Keith, let him do it. Or I think actually it's the same. Oh no, yeah, it opens right here. I am the worst unboxing dude ever. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god, this box is beautiful, man. If you were ever into this game. All right, Keith, let him do it, okay? If you're it ever, ever yeah. into this game, or arcade games in general, oh my God, it's so big. Hang on, lean back, I gotta be able to see. It Whoa. is so freaking big. Look at that. It's here. Full scale replica. It and even it, has little coin slots. In it, in it. It plays. It's 100% playable the entire game. So, okay. I need some light. Okay. Oh, my God. This is insane. Follow me uh, there, 
And also, uh, there's there's other accessories that that go on it. The uh, the actual like laser disc. I think it comes that, out of the back. That that comes out of the back. I mean, yeah. Holy crap. What is that? This thing? is the actual laser disc player. So you have to take This that is not out. a professional unboxing video, everybody. Right. This, this is, is like your average person gets this and unboxes and it. These, and these came out, I want to say, in November. And yeah. the, the very first shipment of these... Was all the Kickstarter people, was wasn't it? Was all the, the Kickstarter people. So they ran out again. Oh my god, there's just so many little pieces to this. Um, so I guess last week is when they made them available to the public again. And it sold out literally within five minutes. It sold, it sold out in five minutes. Let's so. get a bird's eye view going here. This is the crazy zone. It is crazy. Wait, is this just this. a toy? I mean, technically, yes, this is just a toy. But to no. a fanatic like him, it's so much more. Right. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know what that and is for that. I don't know what that is. I don't can, know what that is. Can I yet Not see the yet. Front? Not yet. All right, let's clear all this trash off the table and just get the machine itself. Okay. Here. Is this like a real thing or not? I don't know, buddy. I'm trying to clear some space, okay? Dude, this is insane. Indeed. And Keith, Keith is five, but Keith knows all about Dragon's Lair because I have, uh... You've taught him how to play. I, I've taught him how to play it on uh, the computer. Let's get so, a... Yeah, yeah, I've seen him do it. All right. A... There it is. You can see it has this, like, little joystick in the middle. Ooh, that has nice feel to it. It clicks. It has a little sword button... It has one or two player options. Move your hand, please. This it has little <laughs> coin slots in the front. And yes, you can push the button for the coin slots. Huh. It has a little key. Does this cabinet open? I don't even know. Okay. Oh my gosh, Keith has small fingers. Does that turn? Don't break it though. No, I yeah. think it's just for show, but it's pretty cool. Okay. All right, so I'm going to plug this back in. Oh, my God, insane. Okay, so let's... Can I flip it on? Oh, some lights came on. There it is. Look out. Okay, watch out, buddy. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh, my God, even the marquee lights up. The marquee lights up. It's LED. <laughs> now this is the insanest thing I've ever seen before. Have you ever seen an arcade cabinet this small before? No. I know. Never in my whole life. Never. Please ignore our messy dining room table. There it is. Holy okay. crap. You picked one player. Oh yeah, that's right. This game cost 50 cents, so you have to press this twice. There we go. Oh my goodness. Here that it's go. even got the sound. I know it's insane. Let's see if I can... Take it all the way through on the first try. That joystick feels good, doesn't it? It does. It, Surprisingly, is, it's so tiny, this thing but it's very uh, sturdy. Yeah, and that to joystick is tiny, but it really feels very sturdy yes. under your fingers. I was afraid it was going to feel flimsy.
This thing is beautiful. And it it looks just exactly like, oh crap, I died. Okay. It looks exactly like the arcade game from when I was a kid. Hey, Keith, lean your head back. Oh. Thank you. He got four wives left. Crazy. Yeah. This, uh, guys, this is the total arcade game of, of it. Yeah. It's the total thing. But made for elves. It's made for everybody to do. Dude, I would prefer you would buy this before. I mean, it, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, oh, crap. I'm out again. Oh, death by bats. It wouldn't surprise me if uh, in the next few months, these things start selling for huge amounts of money. Oh, yeah. This is a collector's item now for sure. I almost feel like you should keep it in the box unless you're yeah, playing it. Yeah, this is an insane thing. Yeah. No, jump, 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 jump. Jump, jump. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, I mean, I've been playing this game since 1983. I almost failed the fifth grade because of this game. Because <laughs> you got so into it? I got so into it and, and remember uh, memorizing the patterns on how to beat it. Like, I didn't, I didn't care about my homework or anything. My God, this is crazy! Yeah. And you know all the all the different uh, versions of this game over the years. I, I remember everything about this game so well. Every single version that has ever been out has always had one little difference in there that set it apart from everything else. Hmm. And it's always bothered me because I'm like, that's not right. That's not arcade accurate. And so far, this is 100% arcade accurate even even the moves some of the other versions of the game on cd or the phone especially there's always been something that's a little different He's pretty good at it. Yeah, I've even seen him once beat it one time. Yeah. He beat He's beaten it. this game a lot in his life, I bet. Yes, he is. Yeah. He's the Dragon's Lair Master. <laughs> well, if you had to be good at something. I mean, you know, did it, did it ever give me laid? No. Uh, did it draw me a huge crowd at the arcades when I was like 10, 11 years old? Yeah, all the time. It doesn't happen anymore, huge crowds at the arcade. No, what are arcades? We've been to an arcade. Uh, yeah. They're, they're games that you have to insert a coin and then you can play. Them. That's right. But um, even the arcade version of this at Bishop Cidercade here in Dallas, mm -hmm. uh, the moves aren't arcade accurate from the 80s. Hmm. Interesting. It's like, a, it's like a newer version. Also, a lot of the newer arcade versions of it have a continue. This game did not have a continue when it, when it came out. I feel like I would have died a hundred times by now. <laughs> that was a lot of trial and error. A lot of uh, money spent over the years. This is a professional, everybody. 
Oh man, and, and even uh, this. All right, don't no touchy. <clears throat> even even this level right here. Um, after you've gone through nine boards and you're on the the third drop, uh, the jump in video was backwards, and that's the way it's supposed to be from the original arcade game. Hmm. So it is completely arcade accurate so it far. It is completely arcade accurate. And I think I'm getting close. Pretty close. <laughs> Awesomest thing I saw. Hmm. Ah! Hear this part again. Another one of these. Hmm? All right, now it should be another uh, platform with only three, yeah. And then I am on the... I'm on the final stretch. God, this, this little thing is so beautiful. And some of these, uh, like especially the artwork on the marquee, I have not seen since the early 80s. And I've forgotten how absolutely beautiful this game is. And it, it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right today. On like HD TVs and stuff, it, it doesn't look right. You know, you had kind of the crap resolution back then. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was, oh crap, I died again. You get one it, more shot, right? Uh, yeah. It was uh, like. He can give it two more shots. It was, you know, that square uh, TV monitor. And uh, it just, I don't know, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Now for the levels I've died on. Mm -hmm. oh, I think so. Go in there. Go in there. Go in there. Okay. <laughs> I see this part. There's like two or three copies. There's, you have to do two or three of the same This is the thing. most arcade accurate version I've ever played. Have you seen anything that's not accurate so far? No. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. I might not make it. Burn down it. by fire. Oh, oh my. There you go, and it's a timing thing. But that, now, this will be the test. No continues. There was no continues. This is 100% arcade accurate. Dang, honey. So Well, this, this has been our Dragon's Lair unboxing featuring my wonderful husband, Chad. Now, the next thing that you'll see me unbox in the next few months is when 1UP Arcade releases their full-size version, which they announced yesterday that they're doing, and... If I didn't buy one of those, 10-year-old me would kick me square in the nuts. So I'm going to buy one. Definitely, I will buy one of the 1UP arcade versions that are coming out in the next few months. And it will have Dragon's Lair, Space Ace, and Dragon's Lair 2. All in the same cabinet. And it's probably going to cost like $450, $500. I don't care. So, so if you enjoyed this unboxing of a very miniature version on our messy kitchen table with a 5-year-old, stay tuned and we'll show you... Another one with a much larger version, also on our messy kitchen yes, table with a five-year-old. Go to cderekmiller.com. Buy books. Love you guys. Thank you.